Hello, everybody. <clears throat> this is Ava with My Brainy Mess. How is everybody? I'm good. Can't complain. Uh, we are going to start working on um, the 11 elements um, or the items that go into pockets and to decorate the, uh, the journal. Uh, I know I still have three more pages I need to do, but I'm going to do those off camera because I really have no clue what I'm going to do with them. And, and I don't want to bore y'all with the details of me humdrumming around. So those items are harder for me, so I have to figure it out. And <clears throat> I'll just show you when I'm done. In the meantime, this is going to be fun. I can do these. Um, uh, we're going to do, I'm going to do a wraparound pocket, a large tag with a mystery, a journal card with the mystery. I'm gonna do some clusters, altered paper clips, tabs, small tags, booklets, tablets, bookmarks, and an over the page tab. So that's what I am going to do. So the first thing we're gonna do is gonna do the wraparound pocket. And I'm gonna do it with um, a vintage elements. And by the way, just a little FYI, this little, I've got to get me another gun. <laughs> I love this thing. I figured out how to do Fabri-Tac in uh, the Nouveau bottle. Um, like it is, you can't use Fabri-Tac with the little, uh, well, I'm going to show you. See this little little thing? Fabri-Tac will not go through that. Uh, it just it just won't. I'm even ha I bought some new sugar bottles, and that tip is so tiny, I can't get Fabri-Tac through it. I'm really disappointed in it. Uh, it just won't work. But um, your art grip ah plus one calling my husband again. I tell you, uh, if you can see this little. I don't know if you can see this this metal tab. Fabri Tac will not go through that. Uh, we were told it will just clog it up and you'll have a mess. So it, the Fabri Tac is too thick. So I've been trying very hard to find, you know, if you can find uh, a, a tip that will fit this particular uh, lid. You might could do it, but unfortunately, I've looked. I can't find one. Uh, I thought I found one. It didn't work. So, but I did discover something. Hold on a minute. Let's see. Where's my... What did I do with my... Oh, here it is. If... Here's Fabri-Tac in this one. I went and had gotten another bottle. Um... If you take that little metal part out, you've got a bigger hole, Fabri-Tac will go through that. So therefore, you can get Fabri-Tac to do with this gun. And of course, they have this little needle inside it to help you keep that Fabri-Tac from clogging up the system. Now I want two guns, one for my Fabri-Tac and one for my Art Glitter Glue. And that would be kind of cool to have both of these sitting, whatever, it sits in there. <laughs> well, you got to put your bottle in there. But anyway, that is, I'm going to order another one of these, and then I'll have both of these, and I can just grab up, shoot, 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 and go on. So, but anyway, I don't know which one I want to use. Well, I have Fabri-Tac and another thing. Until I get me another bottle, I can't really use that Fabri-Tac as well. But I'll probably use this. Oh, yep, it goes this way. Nope, nope, nope. It goes this way. There we go. There we go. Go all the way in. There we go. But anyway, there you go. That's uh, That's the solution is take that little metal thing out of that bottle and it will work because I've already tried it and it works perfectly and it just puts out enough Fabri-Tac to not uh, 
abuse the Fabri-Tac where you get too much out of it. And that uh, has always been my problem. You get so much that it uh, you just have glue nastiness everywhere. <laughs> but anyway, uh, just thought I'd let you know, Irma. I know you were wondering about that. But make sure you take uh, this little middle part out. Just take a pair of pliers and work it and work it work it until you pull it out. It, it will come out. Takes a minute, but it will come out. So, I like that idea. So, now we can use your Fabri-Tac in your gun. But I need another gun. So, being that said, onward. Okay. I am going to... make a wraparound pocket. Um, and I want to use vintage paper. But I'm wondering if this is going to be big enough to wrap around. Good question. I don't know. Let's see. We're going to have to pull page out. page out to play with. Okay. Um, we wrap it around. <clears throat> yeah, that'll work. I don't see why not. But it's awfully brittle paper, so I want to uh, back it. I'll take this no, I don't want to take that off. Well, let's back it with some uh, coffee dyed paper or something. It doesn't matter what it is, it just needs to be back. <clears throat> oh, did I mess you up? Fold it this way to give it some umph at the top. Okay, and glue it down. I wish my whole, this thing would work on top of that, but it won't. Okay, now we need to decorate it. Okay, what shall we decorate it for? Yeah. Okay. I want to 
is this. This is this. I think it'd be pretty. I don't know if I want to just um, make it pretty. out of that make one of those little double edge pockets that I love so much like to roll it roll it roll it roll it keep it rolling anybody remember the show row hot raw hide <laughs> Isn't that where uh, Clint Eastwood got his start? Was on Rawhide. Rawhide. I don't remember. I never really watched it, but I knew it existed. <laughs> My truck is finished. I'm going to go pick it up today. glad it was really nothing serious other than just a maintenance on the brakes. Oh, I'm hot. Oh, you know what I forgot? I forgot to bring some water in here. I gotta have some water. I'll be right back. I can't do without my water. Okay, I'm back. I just went and got a bottle of water. <laughs> it was closer. Because I think my water cup is, was empty and I didn't have time. I didn't want to have to go all the way to the kitchen and fill it up. So I cheated. So there. Oh. <clears throat> really having a problem with my tooth. I can't figure out if it's my tooth or my jaw. I mean, it's affecting my whole jaw and my ear and everything. But I'm all plugged up, so it's no telling. Okay, we're gonna ink this up. I sure want to do a little divot in here. <sighs> mm. I don't know. Where is my, uh... oh man, I am really hurting. Around these corners, I don't know if it'll let me or not. No, probably not. struggling. There we go. I want a little divot in there. Or a divot there. I wonder. And get a little one here. No. <laughs> Just will not let me. Oh man, 
I wish I had punches that worked. At least it gives me an outline to cut. There we go. Now, why did I do it on that side? That was dumb. That's all right. I'll do it that way. I need some lappies. Oops. Come on now. Quit messing with me. I need a wappy. I need a wappy. One side done. That's pretty. I like that. And I want coffee dyed paper. Got some. Let's see. I can make that into a tuck. Yeah. I think that's what I'll do. Um, see, I've used uh, a scrap of paper. I used for digital. I've got to use. Some more embellishment. embellishments. Okay. What do I here? What do I want to do there? Well, would be not. Oh, 
guess what? I think my, uh, uh, <sighs> my paper cutter went kaput. Won't let me cut very good. So I need to get a new paper cutter. And I can't find the same paper cutter that I had before. It's obsolete. Which is great. Wonderful. Marvelous. Okay. Do I need to back this to give it more stability? I probably should have done that. I don't think so. I think I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna make a little pocket. Well... I might make a little divot out of it. I don't like that, but it's going to have to do. And that way, it will wrap around like that, and I will glue it down here, here, and here, and then I'm going to make this a tuck, so it will get glued here and here. So there you go. That's how that would go. But I need to put one more embellishment on here. What can I use? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. down there. Let's see where I want to stop it at, though. At the 13 mark. There we go. That's one embellishment. Okay, put that aside. Next, we are going to do I think 
got that one made. A large tag with a mystery. So I've got some envelopes that I want to use. Problem is my envelopes are real big. Ooh, I'm gonna use some of that. Hold on to that. I really don't want to use that. Well. That other project, so let's not. I wish I had some smaller envelopes. Okay. Question is, I gotta. It's got to be a big tag. It's got to be a big tag. To blue the sides. Oops, let me get this out of the way. Hmm. I want to turn it back into an envelope. seen the um uh, uh where'd it go what'd I do with it well in a while I'll have it out where'd it go well I lost it it's clear you know I don't know why they make things clear because you can't find them With it. <sighs> I wanted to use it, but I can't find it. <laughs> oh, that's rude. I don't know. I don't know. I wish this were rub ons, but they're not. my Spectrum Arts uh, uh, tag maker. Don't know what happened to it. It's 
excuse me, I'm putting on my sweater. I got cold. It's gotten cold around here, outside. We finally had a cool snap throw, throw our way. And personally, I'm cold. Well, I don't know what happened to mine. I don't know what happened to it. It has disappeared. It's probably invisible somewhere on my desk because it's clear. And when it's clear, I don't find things. Huh. I don't know what, it might have fallen. You know, something fell the other day. And I'm wondering if it fell. I don't know. I'll have to sweep my floors and see if I can't find it. <laughs> oh, the problems are real. Let me tell you. It's just. <laughs> oh, I wish I could find it because I just love that thing. <sighs> oh, well. Um, we got to make a tag out of this somehow. Let's see. Can't see it. There I go. That looks funny. I'm going to cut that off. There we go. And I need to glue that down. Because I want to keep it in the envelope state. We could glue that down. That's probably what I should have done. And just open that up. Mm, let's do that. Even though I've already screwed up that area. <laughs> I can't ever make up my mind. But now... If I do it that way, then it's going to close that. Ah! Okay. All right. I'll leave that alone and open this side up. I don't know, guys. I'm not doing too here. When it comes to altering things, I have a hard time. There we go. Let's see. Okay. So there's my tag. Let's decorate it. Um, what was I supposed to decorate it with? What does it say? A large tag using an envelope. Okay, that's what I did. So I can decorate the way I want to, huh? All these scraps. Use this piece 
some music. Even more behind it. What do I want to do? Maybe some tea dyed, some tea paper. I love using these big old tea bags. I try to save them when I make tea. Sometimes I forget that. I have, find myself having tea bags draped all over my my uh, bar, over my sink. I have a, my sink is right behind my bar. And I just, <laughs> my husband comes around, what is this? I go, it's tea bags. Don't you throw them away. He just laughs at me, the stuff I collect. He's kind of weird. Anything that he tries to throw away, do you need to save this for anything? No, I'm good. Oh, I'm trying to think of what something. Oh, we got interested. You know, we're always watching YouTube stuff, and and uh, we were eating dinner, and and uh, Richard was watching something on YouTube, and. Uh, well, we both were, and, and dinner was ready, so uh, he can see the TV. I can't, um, but I can hear it, and he usually just tells me what's going on, and the show we were watching evidently went off, and another show came on uh, while we were eating, and it sounded like it was a newscast uh, thing going on, and uh, was a runaway uh, car, uh, a guy who was running from the police. <laughs> it was so fascinating. Me and that guy, what, I mean, it was, uh, it was interesting. He, um, uh, let's see. He, um, went through three cars he was able to steal to try to get away from the police. And they finally got him after, I think we went on, uh, watched this thing for about an hour and a half. It was pretty, pretty fascinating. Cracked me up. And uh, it was fun. Uh, and we couldn't believe we were watching this. And Richard goes, we were sitting here watching this, and I go, it's fascinating. This guy is just went through three vehicles running away from the police. I mean, he would get out of one, and and uh, somehow, oh, he actually got out of the neighborhood, ran through somebody's house, was able to get through somebody's house, and ran out the uh, back way of the house. Uh, he went into the back way and ran out the front way, and stole the last vehicle that he got caught in. But uh, I couldn't believe this, the gall this guy had trying to get away from the police. 
but it was before they got into a really uh, big squad of police going. Uh, it was just a couple of police, so he was able to run, outrun them a little easier, but uh, it was it was pretty fascinating watching it. And we sat and watched that thing for an hour and a half and, until finally, and there was another one just like it coming on. I told Richard, I said, I, I can't walk. Oh, I know what it was. It was a guy who was out running the police. He got stuck uh, at a ditch and a pathway where bicyclers uh, bicycle. He couldn't go anywhere. He was stuck. So they had police surrounding him. Three hours that thing was, but I told Richard we fast forward it, you know, to see if he ever got out of it. Went all the way to the end, and he was still, you know, in um, uh, still trying to figure out a way to get out. And police were trying to do everything they can to get him. And we never did saw the end of that one. But I told Richard I don't want to watch any more of it, <laughs> so let's go and watch something else. But it was wild. Uh, I laughed. I couldn't believe this guy. That uh, I mean, they had the whole city police out there. And they finally got him. They uh, he his wheel. He lost control, and his wheel quit running. And he ended up at a gas station, and and they uh, shot through the window and got him. But uh, Oh, it was wild. <laughs> oh, I tell you. Desperado. I swear. So that was our evening last night. I was watching this event happening. It was just a YouTube video that happened, uh, I guess, in Los Angeles or uh, in California somewhere. And, and uh, <laughs> it was just... It was wild. Let's see. Where do I want these? Oh, I don't quite want that with the jagged edge. <laughs> Things that we, he and I, can find to watch. We get bored with TV, so we just try to find things that are interesting. He has found a station that, oh my gosh, I don't know how he can sit and watch it. And how, this guy... Uh, mows grass. I mean, it's pretty admirable that the stuff that he does, he'll find old cemeteries and that have been grown up and, and um, he'll try to reconstruct them and, and fix them up and and uh, he'll find old sidewalks, you know, that's made that are herringbone and made out of bricks, red brick. There's a hair there. We don't want hair. Get out. Um, herringbone pattern, beautiful, beautiful sidewalk bricks in these old neighborhoods, and he'll clean them up. And but Richard will sit there and watch it for hours, watching him clean up this this area. Gets on my no nerves after a while. I was like, I've had enough of this. It's just the same old, same old. But it is pretty amazing what he does to these properties. It's amazing what you can find on YouTube, really. It really, really is. Um, so he watched that, and, and uh, I usually get on my phone or come in my craft room and do things when he gets into one of those videos. I just can't watch them and get on my nerves after a while. And he'll there's this other guy he watches where he goes and buy, finds old trucks and and puts them together. That's pretty interesting, I guess, if you like watching that kind of stuff. I personally don't, but my husband likes them. Okay, that's done. I feel like there needs to be something up there. Not quite sure what. Maybe a butterfly. That might be pretty. I was going to use that as a... As a distress tool. <laughs> that have been ugly. <laughs> oh, mercy. I'm glad I caught myself. Okay. <laughs> I 
I feel better today uh, than I did yesterday. I don't hurt as bad except for my tooth. And that kind of comes and goes. One minute it's okay, and the next minute it's like, oh. Like right now, it's, it's doing okay right now. That's why I'm thinking it's my jaw. And it's just radiating into my teeth. Because I did go to the doctor, dentist one time because I was having that problem. And she said, I don't see any decay or any problems. I don't know. And it was just my jaw causing it. I have to get arthritis in my jaw. And it just radiates all through the side of my, right side of my head. Makes my ears hurt. Makes my neck hurt. My teeth. But I really think it's my teeth this time. My teeth are very sensitive. I need to get a new dentist down in this area. Down, down on where I used to live. I just... Trust this dentist. I hate dentists. I'm scared to death of them. And uh, it's not so much the dentist I'm scared of. It's it's the drill. And it's not so much that it hurts. It, it radiates into my ears and just, oh, drives me totally insane. It doesn't hurt my teeth. It hurts my ears. That, that whirring noise. Oh, just, oh, my God. It's just... I want to put something else on the top of this. What do I want to do? I don't know. 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 Ow, 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 ow. Oh, let's see. Blue blood, blue blood fly would look good. Oh, that'd be pretty. Shall we put a blue blood fly? A blue blood fly? I never save the little antlers <laughs> or antenna. I could could pin it in. Anybody watched um, on Netflix, uh, Love is Blind, where these uh, couples uh, meet each other without knowing each other through these pods, and they fall in love through the pods and, and uh, get engaged while they're in the pods without even seeing each other. It's kind of a, uh, to learn each other through without knowing what you look like or anything so you don't judge that person what you, what the way they look you judge them by their answers and how you connect to them as people emotionally kind of an interesting concept i don't know that i could do it because uh to me I just don't know that I can do that. I don't know. I might. I would never do it. But <laughs> it's an interesting concept. And some of them actually work out. They uh, connect on an emotional level and, and not so much on a physical level. And then at the end of the, uh, the season, then they decide if they want to get married or not. Uh, at the altar, you, you, they make that decision. 
<laughs> then I like the one that's love at first sight. That's a good one where uh, some professionals match you up with somebody and you marry them without even knowing who they are or what they're about. And, and uh, kind of interesting concept too. Let's see, do I want, want I want that up here or do I want it down here? I think I want it down there. Still feel like I need something up there. What do you think? I don't know. Still need to make a mystery in here. It's pretty. I like that. Hmm. What do I want to put up here? Do I? But I need to make my mystery, don't I? Okay. Let's think about this. Oh, that would be pretty in there. Okay. Let's see. I want to put. I love this paper. I used it in my Artfully August, August Artfully Challenge that I never finished. And I just, oh. I gotta get me a new, I can't, oh, I can't buy anything in this month. I gotta, I gotta make do with, see, it's just not cutting. I don't know what, what it is. And I changed out the blade, so it's not the blade. There's just something wrong with it. I'm thinking there was something in here that's gone to help to help do something. I don't know what it was. You know what? I'm thinking that something fell out and I didn't know what it was and I threw it away. <sighs> Could have probably glued it back in. My chair is not wanting to. Um, where's my? <sighs> you know, I used to watch The Bachelor years ago. I kind of quit watching it because it just, to me, became trash. Uh, I don't like. I just didn't. Once the, uh, there's one guy that was on it that I liked, and once he got off of it as a host, I, well, I kind of quit watching that way before then, but, uh, yeah, I, it just became trash. I just didn't care for it anymore, but I noticed that they, uh, got an older guy involved. I didn't want to wa watch it, just kind of curious to know if they will act a little more mature than <laughs> some of the younger groups or if they're still just as nasty as the other girls uh, would be. I don't know. I, I'm just kind of curious to see how they would react to something like that. Oh, that's pretty. But I need something 
stuff. I like that. <laughs> That's pretty. I want to back it though. Back it with some coffee dyed paper, maybe. Watching Dancing with the Stars. I used to watch that one a lot. Got to where um, I didn't know these people. If it was somebody I knew, I would watch it, but uh, I can't get that straight. There we go. I would watch it, but it's kind of where when I go on there, I just, I don't know, kind of lost interest in, in it as well. I'll be glad when they start getting some new shows on. I tell you, there's just nothing to watch anymore. Tell you what, I was watching Rachel this morning, and what her what what's in my box, crafting, and she showed a couple of journals she's working on uh, that she did some fabric slow stitching on it. Oh gosh, she just does such beautiful work, just absolutely gorgeous. I could sit and watch her for hours. She is one of those ones I can just, I never get tired of watching her. I don't care to watching her slow stitch stuff, but her journal and ephemera stuff, ah, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, there we go. That's all right, though. Well, I think I'll just leave it alone. I could put something there. I don't know what. Something. I'm at a little patch there. And I got another idea. Oh, I love that paper there. That just turned out so pretty. 
I like this still feel like there needs to be something here. A word, maybe. No, we got a word there. Another butterfly, maybe? You think? Maybe a small butterfly? Just not happy with this space. But I don't want another blue one. How about a purple one? How about a purple? Do we want a purple? See what it looks like. I did my first little reel video. I, you know, I'm trying to do some different things on uh, Facebook and and uh, oh, speaking of Facebook, I want to get my Facebook group going and do some things. And so after the first of the year, I'm I'm coming up with ideas for challenges, and I've got one challenge in mind. I think it would be a lot of fun. I'm not going to tell you about it yet. I probably tell you. I'll tell you all about it in December. I got to work out all the details. I think it would be. Uh, Kind of fun to do. Kind of got the idea of uh, on one of the October challenges, but it was not anything special, really. But I, I think I have an idea to make it more fun. And to win prizes and stuff. There we go. Let's see. Put that. Put that that way or that way. Hmm. Put it on there. I like it. I always forget about my ephemera stuff in these little boxes. Let's see. There we go. Yeah, I feel like I need something there. Does it ever end? <laughs> I could put a tab there, couldn't I? Let's see what we got. Oh. Hmm. 
think I made it too thin. Cluster. Oh. Ah. too much here. I hear my husband up. I'm not sure. There we go. We shall do that. Fabric hat. I think then we got our little mystery here and we can write on the back there and oh I was gonna do something here to kind of cover that up You never know I patched it. There you go. All right, guys. I thank y'all from the top of my brain to the bottom of my feet. Please like and share and subscribe to my video. And hit the notification button to, to let you know that I have put out a video. Uh, otherwise, I don't know. There. Now they got antlers. Otherwise, y'all have a blessed day, and I will see y'all in flip-flop. Bye.